Welcome back to another Titan Academy video. Today I'm going to show you how to enable Curl Browsing. Let's check it out. So for this example, I've just added a few text fields here, nothing too complex, but I want to give you a scenario. Let's say this is a form and I'm a client and right now I'm having trouble with filling out this form. So how can I get some assistance? So you're probably saying, well, you can call support or maybe send them an email and they will help you with your problems. But this is not an optimal solution if I want to see, if I want my supporter to see what I'm doing, if I need some further assistance. Well, there is a new feature called code browsing, which allows you to do that exact thing. Let me just show you. So let's jump in the builder. And the first thing I'll do is click on the gear icon here on the left. And from here, I'll go to Tools. And here, you need to enable code browsing. So I'm just going to enable that and click the gear icon next to it. Now, this opens the code browsing settings, which you set your email, your recipient's email. So um, let's set my email. And you can also send a, a static email for like, like I did here or a field from Salesforce. I'm just gonna choose a static one. And the same for the subject, you can choose a static subject or a field from Salesforce to do that. So I'm just gonna choose a static uh, message. I need your help. Okay, now we need to verify the email. So when you send an email, you need also to verify it. So let's think of a subject. Um, here is your password. Okay, now let's apply, save that, and let's refresh our preview. And now, once I click on the request for help, I've sent a request notification. Now if I go to my second browser, you can see I've got a message here from Form Titan, I need your help. So if I'm the support right now, all my, the only thing I need to do is actually click on this link. And now what I'll get is security check. So I'm just going to fill out my email. And this will send a code. Now. I've got another email, here is your password. So this is the verified email part. So it's a nice number, four, okay. Let's confirm our wrong password. Yeah, it's the six instead of the one, so one. Six, four. Okay, so now I'm in. Now I'm in the supporter, supporters view and I can see what exactly my customer is showing me. So I can send him a message. Let's send him this message and now we'll go to the customers view. And here you can see operator, hi, this is from support. And now we can see exactly what the customer is doing and we can send message back and forth. And that's how it's done.